made a job called Printistat, and what we want to do to start the base, and we'll go to Equipment and GPS Base. So what this is going to do is open up um, the parameters on the radio settings and how we're going to use the radio. Uh, we're going to use internal uh, UHF radio uh, inside the BRX-7 to uh, send the data back and forth. So uh, what you have to do is set up the manufacturer, then the model. We're good there, so we'll go to comms. I know this is the serial number here for the base, so we're good there. And then now we're going to start touching the receiver and start changing and configurating. Um, what we have here is um, what you want to set the, the height up for, vertical or slant. We're going to go with here on ours, we have a measure up of 5.14. And what we want to do, elevation mask is 10, is pretty typical. And then what we want to do is run our position rate up to 5 hertz. That's going to help us also with the uh, tilt compensation. So um, we're not going to use the IMU. Uh, the base is stationary. And some people use this, um, but in this setup, we're not going to auto start base. So what I want to do is hit advance, make sure we have the correct configuration. So th this is what we check if we were going to store raw data at the base to send to Opus. Uh, we're not going to do that on this setup, but that's where you check it. And what we really want to do is check out this configuration constellations. So I just have all of them checked, uh, just in case um, we want to use as many as we can. So I have all of them checked. And then I hit the green check just to accept it. I'll hit it one more time. And then what we're going to do is hit the RTK tab. So. They have all these in here. What we're going to run is internal UHF. And now, just like with the Bluetooth connection, you have to hit the hammer and wrench. And now what it's doing is talking to the Satel radio internally. And this is where we're going to set up our frequencies, um, what channels we're going to run on those frequencies, and uh, anything else we might need here. So the power. Um, what I'd like to tell people to do is to say battery is we can go up to one watt. I recommend running the lowest uh, wattage you can at the base just to help you save battery life. Uh, we're not going that far today, so we'll go with the two uh, milliwatts. Modulation is important. We're going to use that 4FSK. Um, oh, I skipped a little bit, but uh, we can run Satel or if you want to run uh, connect this to something else that you already have. I recommend the Satel settings just because it's a Satel radio in there. Uh, I set up a channel 4 already, but if you wanted to set up a new channel, uh, let's say we'll go 464.5, and that's all you have to do for your new channel. And then channel spacing, we have to run uh, 12.5 kilohertz. And we want that forward air correction on as well. So. What I'll do is hit the green check. And now what it's going to do is program that radio from our uh, settings, and then it's good to go. Real important here, uh, we want to run the in RTK port is internal. That's the baud rate. And then very important here, we want to run this message type, the RTCM V3.2. If you were to run uh, the RTCM V3.0, you're not going to have all the satellite data get to the uh, rover. So definitely run this 3.2. Now what I'll do is hit the green check. And now it's going to ask us what we're going to do, how's the base going to get started. So I don't have any coordinates out there, so we're going to do from new position. But just in case you did, you could go from previous surveyed point. So it would just go through your point list. Um, and then you would just pick it if you already surveyed it previously. Um, but we'll do new point. So with this read from GPS, what we'll do is just take a measurement from where it's at, get its position, um, and then that's what we're going to do right now. So it's going to take 10 measurements, and that's plenty for what we need. And now here you'll see the 
Um, so it's getting three, four, five measurements. We're getting 27 satellites. All right, so uh, what we could show in the rover menu, if you're in with a whole bunch of other bases, what you can do is set a base ID. Uh, typically, uh, most, most of my customers don't run into that, so they'll just run with base ID zero. And what we want to do is store the point in the list. So what we'll do is call this point number 99. And the description will be control. And we'll accept that. So it stored our point, and then we definitely want to continue with our base setup. So now it's starting to uh, send out the uh, radio for our rover to connect to. And then I typically don't say base configuration file. Uh, some people it would it would help them, but uh, it's not going to help us in this case. So what I'd like to do is, sh is show people as well to monitor Skyplot. So we're in DGPS. That's fine. We're not going to have a fixed position on our base. Some people I get calls from time to time. They're concerned that their base uh, doesn't have a fixed position. It never will, uh, just because it's not getting correction. So uh, if you see that, that's fine. You're still in good shape. I'd either say we got a pretty good spot, so it's going to say DGPS, but it might also say autonomous. So what we can do now is we'll connect to our rover. Okay, so we've got a Carlson BRX7. We'll go to comms. That's our Bluetooth. So now it's going to start talking to the rover. All right, so just like before, this one will actually be at 6.562 because we're on a two meter pole. And then elevation mask is 10 just like before, position rate five. We're gonna use that internal IMU uh, to get the tilt compensation. Then we go to RTK. We're gonna also use internal. I want the hammer and wrench make sure that they match the base. Okay, so just like before, run the Satel. I have, since it's just receiving, it's not sending anything out. I go to the 100 milliwatts just for those, so 4 FSK just like the base. And then channel, we changed our channel at the base, so I'll have to change it here as well. And just like before, uh, channel spacing, 12.5 kilohertz, and forward air correction. So we'll just accept it. And now what it's going to do is you'll go through here, and then hopefully we'll have a fixed position once it gets uh, ready here. So just accept the green check again. Okay, so just turned to green. We got a fixed position, but just to show, monitor sky plot. So we're fixed. We got good latency. And here's our horizontal and vertical errors. And we're getting 25 of 26, or sorry, 25 of 29 satellites. So works great. Um, what I also recommend for people is this reset RTK. What that's going to do is drop all the satellites and reacquire them. So that People are using that to hit property corners to get redundant data. Um, back when I started, you used to have to flip the antennas upside down and start back again to drop the satellites and reacquire them, but now it's just a little button. So I'll tap that. And then it just got fixed again. So that's how we start the base and river setup using the internal UHF radios. Thanks. Right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Uh, but if you have more questions than what we covered here, 
or uh, want to learn something else, uh, we'll have more videos in the future, or you can contact us directly. Uh, one, num one way is our phone number. It's 1-800-811-9889. Uh, you can also go to our website at printostat.com, or you can even send uh, myself an email. It's survey at printostat.com. So thanks, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.